Oh, we got some news to talk about. Nintendo Switch Unreal Engine 5 information, Ghost of Tsushima, tons of leaked information. We're going to talk about it in this video. Also, a new Nintendo Switch patent has been filed. I'm going to show you the deets and Sony, the games are coming. We're going to talk about these PlayStation 5 games all in one epic video. Roll it. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, man. Destroy the like button. It's right there. Give it a thumbs up right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. We have some dope news items for this video. The first one, Unreal Engine 5. Of course, it was revealed uh, weeks, a couple days ago old news but the new news is how it's gonna be working with that swiggy 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 switch all right this is coming courtesy of Eurogamer they've confirmed that Unreal Engine 5 will in fact will be compatible with the Nintendo Switch which I sort of suspected now here's um the information on it and I'm gonna share my thoughts Unreal Engine 5 gets its first public release in 2021 with franchise juggernaut Fortnite transitioning from Unreal Engine 4 later on in the same year. Unlike Unreal Engine 4, however, the new iteration of the engine isn't a clean break from the past. It has the same system targets as Unreal Engine 4, meaning it'll run on anything from the most high-end PCs to old Android and iOS devices, encompassing current-gen consoles too, including Switch. Obviously, though, you can't expect the same level of fidelity as a full-fledged next-gen experience revealed today. And so... Same thing as 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 Unreal Engine 4 was fully scalable. Unreal Engine 5 will be also fully scalable, which includes the Nintendo Switch, which obviously there's some good and bad to that. <coughs> the good thing is the Nintendo Switch will probably still be getting ports. Um, ports of games coming to the Xbox um, Series X and PlayStation 5 because it's the Nintendo Switch has been getting some of the current gen ports too. Mortal Kombat 11 comes to mind. Great Nintendo Switch port utilizes the system well. But there's a drawback. It probably won't be in 4K, bruh. Unless Nintendo Switch announces a Switch Pro, which I think they will next year. I'm telling you, man, Nintendo comes out with a home console. They'll kill it right now in the social media age. But, um... Um, the games probably won't more than likely have the, the same resolution and um, they'll probably have to tone down maybe the frame rates or whatnot so it'll run best on uh, the Switch. Now, Unreal Engine 4 is already being used on the Switch, even on the first party front. Dope looking game, bro. Yoshi Crafted World is running on Unreal Engine 4. And so, Nintendo's internal studios, they're familiar with the Unreal Engine. And so, hopefully, it'll be a good transition. This could mean we'll also get better looking first party games from Nintendo utilizing the Unreal Engine. It's a great, uh, great engine, very developer friendly. And so, um, stay tuned to see better looking first party games on the Switch and continued support on the third party front uh, for the Switch uh, in the foreseeable future. Because the system is selling so good. Um, developers are seeing um, the worth and the investment and the time. And the fact that the engine is easily scalable. <coughs> could mean easier ports coming to the switch and so unreal engine 5 will be 
will be on the Nintendo Switch. Now, as the report says, it's not going to be out until 2021 on Fortnite. On Fortnite is when it's going to have its first debut in the public arena in 2021 on Fortnite. Meaning Fortnite probably will get a graphical upgrade. But what does this mean for the Switch? By this time, by 2021, expect to hear more buzzing of a Nintendo Switch Pro. Even though the Pro excuse me, may be a little bit more powerful than the current Switch, Unreal Engine, Five will be compatible on whatever switch system you have even the switch light and so 2021 is the earliest we'll be seeing unreal engine 5 are you excited to play unreal engine 5 games on the switch again it's going to come down to developers and whether or not they're going to optimize the switch for the engine and so we'll have to wait and see what comes of it but Good to see that the Switch is not going to be get left behind because a lot of people are thinking the new consoles coming out, the power race. Can't wait to see what both Microsoft and Sony has in store. I can't wait. I'm, go I'm probably going to get both systems. Um, but many were thinking the Switch was going to get left behind. But the fact that Unreal Engine 5 will be compatible with the Switch means um, the Switch will still be getting first party and third party games even though it's been a little dry right now on the switch bro um the next game i'm picking up is probably going to be xenoblade chronicles definitive edition in about 10 days man i need to beat final fantasy 7 man make sure you're also subscribed to my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championship i'm going to start just multi streaming on my gaming platforms my gaming youtube channel twitch obi-wan plays even twitter and Mixer. I'm going to be streaming Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I'm trying to beat that game before Xenoblade drops. All right. Next news item Ghost of Tsushima. The trailer that restored my confidence in Sony. <coughs> Bro, I was blown away by this trailer. Impressive, impressive stuff, Sony. And shout out to the homie East KY Retro for sending me um, this information um, coming from two sources. The first one, Push Square. Push Square has tweeted, Ghost of Tsushima will take up at least 50 gigabytes of space on your PlayStation 4. That's on the base model PlayStation 4. If the game is going to be optimized for the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is the um, console I have. I had a Pro. I mean, I had the OG Four, and then I upgraded to the Pro. It's probably going to be pushing around 80, 100 gigabytes if they're going to optimize it, increase the resolution and whatnot. Um, and so it's going to take up a good chunk of space on your console. But that's not it. Nibble, a reliable leaker, he's also give us, given us more information on the game. You can freely switch between samurai and ghost play styles. The game will be very challenging there was another samurai game that came out earlier this year i didn't pick up but um they say that this game is going to be very challenging there's going to be 1v1 duels there's going to be no markers exploration is a key focus wow taking out because when you notice look at the the hud bro it's pretty much gone no mini map no Feet marker letting you know you're about to reach your destination. All that is gone. I wonder if that's going to be optional if you could turn that on or off. Interesting to see. <laughs> but exploration is a key focus. Also, this is the biggest world Sucker Punch has ever done. Multiple biomes. Sucker Punch, great studio. Is this the same studio that did Infamous Second Son? Somebody um, um, check that out for me. But Infamous Second Son, one of the launch games I had on my PlayStation 4. Beat that game. Dope game. Sucker Punch is a great studio. And I have this uh, also map in, in the state of the play. Just a small portion of the start area. So we only got a short glimpse, a small glimpse of the game. I have to say this, man. Sony... Um, I was reminded of Sony do have some great first party games, man. I've been sleeping on a lot of these um, Sony first party games. Um, but Ghost of Tsushima 
information blowout next news item we're coming back to the playstation 5 in a second but nintendo has filed another patent that's right it's a quality of life patent um dealing more with health and so not really my cup of tea the image of the patent let me show y'all the image um it's like a mario waking up so it has something to do with sleeping and uh, not really my cup of tea um let me see open image a new tab let me see if i can get just a better and oh, that made it even worse all right and so uh, not my really not really my cup of tea it's going to be dealing with health and lifestyle so nintendo does have another patent um out on the market i mean coming out soon uh, and, and when, I'm not, when I say coming out soon, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm thinking of the next news item. But not so much coming out soon because some of these um, patents never see the light of day. But as more information comes out, I got your dudes covered. The next news item we're talking about in the last one for this video. Sony. Sony is planning to introduce a compelling lineup for PlayStation 5 soon soon all right um this is coming courtesy of um let me get the the source again um this is coming from an article from pushsquare.com it's the word all uh, right as part of the company's latest corporate strategy meeting that's it their latest corporate strategy meeting sony's come out with the official official statement saying we plan to introduce a compelling lineup for the playstation 5 soon many are rumored to a june 4th playstation revealed a blowout where they're going to reveal the console and games sony has to bring some games man and like i was just saying when after the ghost of tsushima um, reveal Sony does have some pretty good um, first party IPs I'm I would be interested in a, a little big planet 4 I had little bit little big planet 3 on my PlayStation 4 um, just a great lineup of games I can't wait to see what Sony um, will be showing you know what would be lit bro if they showed a PlayStation all-star battle royale 2 or a sequel to PlayStation battle royale I think right now this game will do well. This game would do well with social media so big right now. I think this game would sell well. And I actually enjoyed playing this more than Smash. Don't at me, bro. Just my opinion. And so um um very soon according to Sony, they're going to have um they're going to showcase a compelling lineup for the PlayStation 5 because at the end of the day it will come down to games i'm hyped to see what xbox has to offer xbox in july has to bring the fire sony they have they both have to bring the fire for me bro so i can't wait next gen is going to be lit i'm going to get both consoles now man um at launch i'm getting both now at launch playstation 5 and the xbox one um just can't wait man all right dude that's it for this video man what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.